hey guys, it's Artifact. And I sat through the Game Awards, and trust me, that was no easy feat. And I was bored 95% of the time, I'm not gonna lie. And I sat through it just to get to Blue Protocol. And we finally got to Blue Protocol, and I'm, I'm, I'm really mixed on it. Because when I did that video on Blue Protocol a while back, I, I said I just want Amazon to stay away from it. <laughs> I specifically remember saying I want Amazon to stay away from it. And I cursed it. Blue Protocol is teaming up with Amazon for the global release. First off, yes, it does break my heart for that reason. Amazon is going to censor this game. To the point where they probably focus more on the censoring than the game devving. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal and it's not the big reason why I'm worried. But that being said, they are going to uh, do their best to <laughs> Karenize those waifus. So I'm gonna say it like that. The other thing I'm scared about is just Amazon's track record. I just, you know, New World, launched in such a bad place lost ark was actually decently okay it was just really really money hungry and i i don't know it didn't kill the hype right i'm still gonna play it day one i'm still gonna stream it i'm still gonna hit it really hard in the youtube videos and i still eh, have excitement it just went from 100% excitement down to like 75, right? But on to the good news is that it is coming to Xbox and PlayStation and PC. I was kind of afraid it being an Eastern game, it was gonna go to PlayStation and PC and skip the Xbox. So I'm glad the Xbox guys are going to get to play it. As for the other things about the Game Awards, um, Transformers did get a sort trailer, but uh, that game's way off. I wouldn't expect to see that game until 2025. But uh, yeah, Blue Protocol is coming to the West. It's getting a global release on console, so that's kind of cool. We'll see how it does. I'm still going to play it day one. I'm still excited for it. I'm just... My over-the-top excitement has turned into cautious optimism. So this is Artifact in the editing room, and you know how I say this is the end of the videos, and this is where opinions fly. Let me tell you, opinions flew. <laughs> And I'm not posting that, but I was hot. Like, I just saw the Blue Protocol, and then I saw Amazon Games. I quit everything that I was doing. I hooked up the video stuff, and I went on one. But uh, now I've cooled off. And the thing is, a part of it is a me problem, because I am a lonely dude in a small city. Not a lot of people to talk to and I just want just give a dog a bone basically and basically Amazon's gonna take away my bone another thing is I grew up with gaming before gaming studios needed to bend the knee to Twitter right the Laura Crofts the Samus Arons the Blood Rains the Bayonettas and I just kind of miss that era of gaming. Back when females were allowed to be badass and sexy. Now it seems like sexy and badass cannot be in the same sentence. They can't be in the same area. And it just bugs me that here's the thing is I play video games to escape the mundane world I play video games to get away from real life 
And one of the reasons why my channel will never be political is because I want you to come to me to escape, right? I was talking to a subscriber on stream and he's like, yeah, I just pulled a 72 hour week. And when you finish a 72 hour week, you don't want to come home to like politics or real world or anything like that. You just want to get away from it all. And I find it harder to escape because games want to be more pandering. And they want to be more... I don't even know the word for it. But as they embrace the rules of the real world, they constantly remind me on how the real world sucks. And this is why I don't like over-censoring. Now, there are some things that just need to be Americanized because of different cultures and things like that. And I will acknowledge that. But. Um, for the most part. I just. It just breaks my heart. Because those anime games are perfect. To just escape American politics. American life. That you hear so much of. And you just kind of step away from it all. That American games don't give you right the escapism and when I saw Amazon was in charge of localization my heart broke because I realized that escapism that I go to for the JRPGs probably won't be there so I'm sorry about that rant if I hope it never happens again but I needed to uh just get out there and say how I feel. I'm hoping this video doesn't pull a lot of views. Thanks for watching and uh, Artifact out.